and this is Miller. I heard a whisper you've been chosen to deliver your testimony to Mr. Lloyd George. Tomorrow. Leave the boat to us men, eh, Mrs. Miller? And we'll leave you to the home. <laughs> I've already made up the hours. I work late Tuesday and Thursday. And Maggie will mop up any extra. Why don't you tell Mr. Miller? I'll give you a clip round here and knock some sense into you if he won't. <laughs> yeah, me and Ob do us some good, eh? Violet. I'll come with you tomorrow. Here you speak. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just gonna listen. Inside. Come on then. Mrs. Miller, you're not. Lloyd George will dismiss you, and all you say. Glass house laundry. And you speak for me. I can't. It is written down. No, I'm not. I'm not. All you'd have to do is read it. Please ask someone else. I gave you, you someone can else who can do it better than I can. You can. Please. Tell we have no Glass time. Glass house laundry. Please. Tyler, you can do this. No, you can do it. You tell him. Shall you begin, Mrs. Miller? Watts. It's Mrs. Watts, sir. Mrs. Miller isn't able to. I have her testimony. You work at the Glass House Laundry in Bethnal Green, too? I was born there. Then I should like to hear your testimony. I don't know what to say. Your mother worked at the laundry? From when she was 14. She'd strap me on her back or under the copper vats if I'd sleep. All the women did it who were babies then. Your employer allowed that? He'd have you back as soon as you could. He? Mr. Taylor. And does your mother still work at the laundry? She died when I was four. I see. Fat tipped. Scolded her. What of your father? Don't know him. And you've worked for Mr. Taylor? Part time from when I was seven, full time from when I was 12. Don't need much schooling to launder shirts. I was good at collars, steaming the fine lacing, got the hands for it. I was made head washer at 17, four woman at 20, 24 now, so. You're young for such a position. Lord, you works a short life if you're a woman. And why is that? You get your aches and your chest cough. 
crushed fingers, leg ulcers, burns, headaches from the gas. We had one girl last year poisoned, got work again, ruined her lungs. And your pay? We get 13 shillings a week, sir. For a man, it's 19. And we work a third more the hours. They're outside most days on delivery, so at least they're in the fresh air. What would the vote mean to you, Mrs. Watts? I never thought we'd get the vote, so I've never thought about what it would mean. So why are you here? I thought that we might. That this life. That there's another way of living this life. Sorry, my words are not. No, no. The finest eloquence is that which gets things done. Thank you, Mrs. Watts. I believe we have all that down. We shall have a response for you very soon. An amendment to the bill might just force the change towards the vote. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.